Hello there. My name is James Arnold Taylor, and I do the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi in The Clone Wars. You're watching Only One Kenobi. Thank you for that, James. No problem. Thank you, James. It's... See you later, James, yeah? I, uh, yes, no problem. I shall, uh, get everyone to subscribe to your channel. Thank you, James. That's, I really appreciate that. Bye now. Bye. Hi there. Sorry about that. That was James Arnold Taylor. He was just round at my house. Checking out my collection. This is only one, Kenobi. Only one. And I want to do a video today which has been discussed by people in the past. I'm going to look at the quality of two different clones, one in the vintage collection and one from the Black series. But also I want to open these two figures that I got recently in a haul of figures that I got from the entertainer in the UK for £5 each. I've never had these two loose before, so this will be a first time to get a look at them. It's Commander Doom and Commander Wolf. And even before I open these two figures, I can tell that there's a difference in quality. I'd say that this Doom would be more like the kind of quality you're getting with this Rex. And this Wolf has features of vintage quality, what with it being a combination of soft and hard goods that you get with this Art Trooper Commander. Now, before we say anything else, I'll come back to these in a minute. I'm going to open them. This Art Trooper, you either agree or you don't agree, but it can be little argument the fact that this is probably one of the best ever 3.75 clones ever made. Simply awesome, lovely sculpt of body. You can remove the helmet. The balance of the figure's amazing. The lovely, lovely features, soft camo. It's just pretty darn awesome, to be honest. Love it. So it was, it was Victoria's Cantina that um, pointed out a few flaws with this Rex that came out in the Black series, which was, you know, I do agree. Bosk's Bounty did say recently as well that he thought that the um, the features on this Rex are excellent. I do agree, but it's just small things like the helmet is for some reason very tiny. It's um, sadly it's not a removable helmet, but that's not the end of the world. But also, um, when you look at features close up like the hard. So I hope you can see this okay, the lighting's a bit weird where I am. The hard goods camo is a little bit of a disappointment. So there you go. So <clears throat> before I go any deeper into this video, I will say straight away now something I've said in a few videos that I really hope that they will bring us a definitive Rex on a vintage car back. And I hope it echoes something of the quality and style of this Art Trooper Commander. That would be awesome. Now then, let's open the other two. See you in a moment. Boom, okay, and check this guy out, really pleased. I'm glad I opened this one first because well, I wanted to get this one out first. I knew it was gonna be my favorite one, really like it. And if you wanna talk about articulation, it's nice to see he's got the hinged wrists there. I like that feature. So I don't know how many points of articulation that is, but do let me know how many that all adds up to. But certainly it's got every aspect of articulation you'd hope for. And the soft goods camo, I love that. I don't know what it is, but it just gives it some sort of flexibility and niceness about it but um also let me know i thought i'd seen everything of the, i thought i'd seen all the episodes of the clone wars i'm pretty sure i have but i don't remember him wearing that armor wolf i, I don't a wolf's the guy with the funny eye isn't he i'm pretty sure he is um but let me know what series he appears in or what episode slash episodes uh, or he might just be a blink and miss when he's in this armor i'd bring it a bit closer but the lighting setup might make him too dark but very nice. I just thought I'd put them on the spinning turntable. If you want to get hold of one of these turntables, I got one off eBay. They're from China. And they're, they're solar powered. So you can put a battery in them or, or not really. They will operate and spin with solar power and they're really good. They last forever and ever and ever. Um, so really nice. That's a good start. I like this figure a lot. Very, very nice paint jobs there. Awesome. And that's all I really want to do. I can't really say any more than that. Other than I might give you a close up look as well. One moment. Yep, here he is. Tell me, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? It's killing Clanker's time. Yeah, lovely figure. I'm not messing around with his articulation. I've just put him in one pose. There's that wrist action there, so it gives you a little bit of an option with what he's doing with his weapons. Lovely figure. Nice. Rate it. Lovely. Just uh, time for one more figure. Let's open it the real proper way, as we would as kids. And as if we're opening a cheap figure, which this is for five pounds each, by the way. If you're not onto that one, get down to the entertainer. These things are going for five pounds a piece, which for an articulated figure is a bonus. Join me in one minute when I've got them out of here. Hang on. Bam! 
Now here's Wolfie now, looking good, and I tell you what, I didn't really fancy the look of this figure, I didn't really like the colour of him, and I didn't really like the idea of where he's come from, because I, th I think he's a bit of a gimmick, is he? he's based on Judge Doom, or something, I don't know, something to do with a comic book, I don't know the details, if you know, let me know. But actually now I've got him out of his plastic prison and articulated him, I quite like the look of him, he's great. But as I said before, the only issue I have, or the one thing that sort of puts him a little bit down on the feature quality is the fact that he's got also a plastic camo, but you know what, it's not the end of the world, is it? It's still a nice figure. Um, but yeah, it's great, yeah, interesting. Let me give you a closer look of him too. We're doomed. Yes, indeed, there he is. I'm sorry about the, I thought I'd lit this quite well, but no, it's looking dark there. Just a few shadows. Anyway, I hope you're getting him there. There he is, as, he, as you can see, uh, soft, hard camo. And I don't know, again, maybe going to the quality of this one, the paint job on the face is a little bit, I don't know, funny. It's the same with Fox or there's another one as well. I've forgotten his name. Is it Fox or somebody else? The other guy, the red, the red, the red one. I can't even see. Sorry. It's all right, I guess, but just something a little bit cheaper than, than our friend from the Vintage Collection. But anyway... All good for £5 a piece. I just wanted to review them and discuss maybe some quality differences between the lines that we've had in the past for Clone Troopers. But nothing will change my mind. I really want a vintage collection. Rex definitive in 3.75. So that's it for another video. If you are new around here, my name is Only One Kenobi, and please do subscribe to my channel, especially if you are into the vintage collection and interested in forecasting its future, of which I'll say one final time. I really hope they give us a definitive Captain Rex on a vintage card with this kind of quality, you know what I'm saying? So make it happen, Mr. Steve Evans of Hasbro, Hasbro Pulse, whoever you are out there, that would be awesome. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. This has been Captain Rex. Captain Fordo, Commander Wolf, and Commander Doom.